It's really all about people. And we have on our team people who have landed spacecraft on Mars, people who have started entirely new industries, and people who have financed some of the most unique and exciting companies of our time. The team I've assembled has designed, built, and operated spacecraft throughout the solar system. And we're bringing an experience and perspective outside of aerospace. And we're very excited to begin exploring the asteroids. Originally worked on the Mars Pathfinder mission as a student, uh, and uh, got to work on Sojourner, the first rover that went to Mars. And since then, I've worked really on, on just about every Mars mission that's been sent by the United States since that time. I worked on uh, a UV telescope looking at uh, galaxy uh, UV signatures and then um, also worked on the two Mars exploration rovers which was the fulfillment of, of my, my dream to start with. Um, worked on those missions uh, from concept through, through uh, delivery, assembly and launch uh, down in Florida and then I decided that was so much fun I wanted to do it again on the next one, the Mars Science Laboratory, Curiosity. I worked on two generations of Mars rovers the most recent one being the Mars the Science Laboratory. At JPL, I worked on precision landing sensors to help spacecraft better land on the Moon and Mars. So when I got out of school, I joined Intel and worked as a designer on the Pentium 4 product. Uh, from there, I got an opportunity to be an architect on the Core i7 line, and my team and I developed uh, the embedded uh, power management implementation. It was a unique opportunity to bring low power and high efficiency to that product line. So I've been really fortunate to have some great experiences in the space sector ranging from the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab and the Commercial Space Flight Federation to working at SpaceX. I worked at JPL and I worked on Mars Science Laboratory, specifically the mobility system. The mobility system lets the entire rover move around on another planet and the experience of, of touching hardware daily and designing hardware that would go to another planet was, was hard to describe. The most positive thing that I think I took away from my experience of working for NASA and working for JPL is, uh, is an ability to look at an absolutely ludicrous problem and go, okay, well let's break that down into the things that we would actually need to do in order to achieve it. And then very methodically go after each of those pieces to the point where you feel confident that you can do that ludicrous thing. I wanted to do the same types of things that, that JPL did, but I wanted to do them in a different way. I wanted to do them in a, an environment that was that had more ability to be innovative and creative and more immediately affect the, the design of the hardware and the spacecraft. I was impressed with the experience of the team in Seattle, and I wanted to become part of something I think will really be amazing. Asteroids are the best real estate in the solar system. They're easy to get to from the Earth energetically. They're filled with precious resources from water to platinum group metals. And you don't land on them, you dock with them. So going back and forth between the asteroids doesn't take a lot of fuel. We want to create a simple spacecraft that can do audacious things, but can do so with a small, very capable crew of people. Small teams are nimble. They're willing to try new ideas that are going to be lower cost and a breakthrough approach that larger corporations are not willing to try. Because ultimately, trying a new technology out for the first time, it has a risk of not working. But if it does work, that's where a breakthrough comes from. We're going to learn new things about the asteroid as we fly by it, as we orbit it, as we land on it, and as we get our robotic hands on it, we will, we will build that knowledge in a way that that hasn't been done before, and that definitely excites me. Space exploration is not a new concept. We're doing it already. What we need to do is figure out how to do it more cost effectively, using less resources, operating more efficiently. That's what will enable the commercial development to space. Asteroid mining is going to happen. It's not, it's not a matter of, of, of if, it's a matter of when. And we're gonna be the first people that will look at exactly what's there and exactly how to get it. What we're going to try to do, mine asteroids, I think is possible. Not because it's a technolo technological challenge, but because we have the right people. And I think that in a company like this, we're going to have the freedom to try to do even more than we've seen in the past. 
The goal is so amazing. We're not just settling for some incremental improvement. We're trying to do something that, if it's successful, is going to revolutionize both the economics of space travel within space resources, but also will have huge economic benefits back here on Earth. Ultimately, doing something as big and bold as going out to mine the asteroids is considered by most a crazy idea. Uh, it's different, it's risky, uh, and large corporations and governments don't do well taking risks. It's always the small company that believes in themselves against all the odds who are willing to risk everything to go and make that happen. I can envision a day in which the company delivers its first liter of water to ISS or an equivalent platform in space. And to see that actually come to fruition and be able to develop the resources to do that is, is, is a unique opportunity. The idea is taking something simple and being able to do very advanced things with that simple solution. And I think that's only possible in a startup. Genius is 99% perspiration and only 1% inspiration. And we know the road ahead is hard. The types of challenges that we face are faced by entrepreneurs every day. Technical, financial, political. But through our people, our plan, and our passion, I have every confidence we will overcome these challenges and in doing so, provide great value back to the world. We are going to change the way the world thinks about natural resources.